The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Dick Gregory's only been on twice before, and we've got to get him on commercial-free in the nightly news for like a 40-minute commercial-free interview so we can put clips of his comedy throughout the years and clips of his new film in there. He's agreed to do it in the next two weeks, so that's, that's coming because it, it really is almost pointless to just get him on for 30 minutes because he's got so much to say and uh, again, he was talking about this stuff 50 years ago, ladies and gentlemen, and so much of it has turned out to be true. So you've got the floor, Mr. Gregory. Finish up your point you were trying to make about it being in the news that the, that the FBI director was going to kill you, uh, and then expand out on you were bringing up the missing plane uh, and the missing scientist. Of course, that's one thing I thought was interesting and uh, kind of a brain theft, I guess, and just other big issues. Your view on the world, Dick Gregory. Okay, now, where we left off was the Chicago Tribune article. And that was by Rob Warden. And here's the first paragraph. The late J. Edgar Hoover ordered the Chicago office of the Federal Bureau to develop measures to neutralize, that's the word they used to kill, black comedian uh, uh, Dick Gregory, and suggested measures could include alerting La Costa Nostra to Gregory's verbal attacks on them. And it goes on and on. Now, matter of 
fact, I had the telex before the Chicago FBI got it. <laughs> That's a good thing about about black folk. And one day when white folk understand who we are, you know, we did all the work for white folk. They didn't hire white folks to do that. We did all the work. And it's something about white America. They knew something about us, our spirit. Why? Nobody on this planet could be treated like a group of people that we was treated during slavery and let they knew something about me. They let me they cook their food. They let me take care of their babies. You don't let people who've been trashed do that unless you know something that's coming off of them. So we had all the jobs. My mother's 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 mother worked for Jesse James. We from Missouri. Up in the boot hills, Jesse and Frank. And when Jesse got killed, Frank changed the name and took the money to Rockefeller. That's who the Rockefellers are, okay? See, we know all of that. By the way, folks, that's actually true. The Rockefellers ran snake oil operations out of Missouri before they discovered oil. That's right. <laughs> and, 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 and the Jameses were Jews. That's why... They, and I hate to use the word because so many people use that to trash the Jews with. No, that's why they was robbing banks and the railroads because of the way they treated Jews. And so, and, and so consequently, we knew that. We knew everything out here. We know who Abraham Lincoln's daddy was. We know who Abraham Lincoln was. And we know that because we worked in the house. And we know damn good and well that ain't no white boy from Yale invented the cotton gin, okay? If I'm working and the people I work for and I'm the slave that don't give a damn about me, why are they going to invent something to ease my burden, huh? Eli Whitney, and then the only reason you can have fantastic documents there is because Eli Whitney came down from Yale to visit this, this rich you know, slave owned family, and he saw this black guy sitting in the field with a box. And so he went back and put a patent on it. Well, it went to court. So the documents is in federal court about who, who did and who didn't. And so when you sit and you think about the information we have and have always had, the Pullman porters, most of the Pullman porters were wealthy. Why? Because couldn't nobody poor afford to ride on a train where they had sleeping car? It was called sleeping car ports. And, and, but the wealthy, before that, it was the Roosevelt and the rich. They would hook their private car onto the railroad. So they say anything in front of us because we was invisible. We know what stock was going to go down. We know the stock market, when it was going to be fixed. We knew that. We knew sports. You know, do you know? What I'm fixing to say now, do you know how many Americans would, would just say, oh, he must be great? 60% of all college football games is fixed, okay? Now, the, 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 and we think the same way the Germans thought right before they fell. There were, there were people trying to tell folks what was going on, and they wouldn't hear it. They just couldn't believe that this could happen. And so consequently, when you sit now, here's why your shows and shows like yours go over so big. When I'm, I'm 82 years old, I had nothing but NBC, CBS, and ABC. Okay? When you listen to them talk about that Malaysian plane now and say we bring in an analyst, ain't no analyst, that's CIA. Okay? That's a game. But Americans is so naive. You know, you try to tell Americans that, that Kennedy, when he shot in Dallas, they haven't found his brain. His brain is missing. And nobody said, wait a minute, it's splattered. No, 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 come on, y'all. He was shot at 1 o'clock Eastern time. At 4 o'clock, they sent that limousine of his back to where they make the limousines in Cincinnati, Ohio, to have it re-overworked. What about all the forensics that's in there? You try to tell Americans this, okay? And they will not believe you. What's happening now? Social media. The social media, when I was a little boy, NBC, CBS, and ABC, they would get something like thirty to 40,000 people every evening for the news, separately. 
they can't get 17 million people total together because all at once that other media is out there and people hear stuff that feels good and sounds good. For instance, go back to September 11th, okay? September the 11th and Operation Binko, those of us that's doing it, we knew that was coming five years before it hit about the raid they made in the Philippines and got that guy's hard drive. And they listed all five places that was going. I just didn't know the days. Now, there were some folks that knew the day. I was in New York helping a friend of mine on the election. The election was Tuesday. I went on the 10th. I'm there the 10th and the 11th. And I called my wife. And I said, baby, well, you got me sleeping tonight. Say, you're not a friend of yours. Called you from Paris and say, don't spend the night in New York tonight. You hear me? I get on a train and go to Washington, D.C. When I get off the train at 4 o'clock, I can't say too much on the phone, so I called him and said, <laughs> I, I owe you one. <laughs> How did you know I was in New York? He said, we picked you up on the satellite, brother. Now, I just, I just you know, the next day I'm home, and my wife and my son called and said, a, 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 a plane just hit the... Uh, a New York building, and I'm thinking it's it's uh, King Kong, you know, uh, uh, the little Piper Cub. And so I go out to do my walk, and I come back. They call me again and say a second plane hit. When I saw that, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so we look at it, and we see it, and you follow it like you. You hear so much stuff and see so much, and you know the people that are giving it to you. Now, you got tricks that will call you, ain't nothing but agents. You got tricks that'll call in and know more about the subject than you know that mean, hmm, how'd you know about this much, okay? And so consequently, we was all ready for that. I just didn't know the date. So now Absolutely, and again, Operation Bojinka, for those that don't know, proved that the government knew about it. And look at Condoleezza Rice saying no one knew there was a planned attack. Mayor Willie Brown, it came out in the San Francisco Chronicle, called her, well, she called him and said, don't fly to New York tomorrow. And again, it just shows that not so much that she or even he were personally involved. It shows that they were warned. Sure. And it shows that everybody else was basically getting warned. And there were little kids in the news saying that they were warned not to go to school that week. It turns out everybody knew but the general public. That's right. But let, let me tell you something else. Now, you said that, that ran in the San Francisco Chronicle, right? Yes. Now, that's very important. It ran in the San Francisco Chronicle on Wednesday. Did you hear me? Yep. Uh, the, the September the 11th. And let me tell you another trick. Uh, today is April Fool's Day, right? Yes. April the 1st. Okay. Halloween. October. We never use a number for the month of the year. We always use the, 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 the and then the number. Why do we use numbers then? 911. 911. Well, what is that? If you walked in the house and your mother, your son, or your daughter, your wife was on the phone, you said, who are you talking to? They said, I just dialed 911. Think about the look that comes over your face. See, 911 tells the brain to be scared. That's they right. No, the, they picked it on purpose as a PSYOP. It's incredibly obvious. Yep. Now, 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 before that, you go back to the Oklahoma City bombing. Now, you, you can't get no more weird paper in America than the Washington Times. That's the old, old uh, uh, what's his name, the Korean CIA? Yeah, yeah the Mooney. The Mooney. Now, now, Reverend now, Moon. Just, just imagine, in his paper, Wednesday, April the 22nd, 1998, headlines, FBI paid mortgage on Nichols' home, Denver. The FBI made mortgage payments on Terry Nichols' home after he was arrested, and before he was convicted, uh, consigned to bomb the Oklahoma City federal building. Now, the court documents show this. Come out the court document. Now, watch this. A Justice Department spokesperson said he did not know immediately why the government was making payments nor the amount. Now, she didn't say it didn't happen, okay? <laughs> she just said, <laughs> and it's the same thing. Almost all the hijackers had the FBI paying for their houses and tracking them. That, that was even in the AP. I, I, it's crazy. That's right. 
And so, and, and so when you stop and think, now everybody says, well, wait a minute. How did they learn how?